Cassidy Lutz. And I'm Michaela Stroud. And we are the 4-H Program Assistants for the South Wind Extension District. And today we will be talking to you guys about the Home Environment Project. So let's go ahead and get started. The Home Environment Project is taking an element of your home, such as a room or a piece of furniture, and updating it, remodeling, or fully refurbishing it. This could look like paint, repainting your bedroom, taking a piece of furniture and refinishing it, or improving a piece of your house, such as the steps. One part of the Home Environment Project is determining your goal. So first, you will need to determine an action that you want to complete. So this could be, I want to repaint a piece of furniture. The next important part is to determine when you would like to have your project done by. That way, you stick to a timeline and you get your goal accomplished. The next part is determining who will help you with this project. More than likely, it will require a guardian, family friend, or parent to help you complete your goal. And the last part of goal setting is to determine what your budget is. While you're redoing furniture, it's probably going to take a little bit of money. So maybe it's something you've saved up for or that you're going to have your parents help you out with. All of these go into goal setting in the Home Environment Project. When first brainstorming of home environment projects, see what materials you have available at home for you to use, such as maybe a wooden pallet. The second thing you should consider when brainstorming ideas is researching basic design elements and principles, such as color schemes and also patterns and textures that you would like to use. Part of the Home Environment Project is record keeping. You want to make sure before you start your project, you're taking photos. That way, when you're done, you can take after photos so you can show the judge what you did to your project and how you improved it. Another piece of taking photos is that you can use them to create a design board, poster, or educational display. These are all part of the Home Environment Project. Project members need to understand is light. So when considering decorating or remodeling a room in a house, study how the light impacts that area, such as does it cast a shadow or is the light a little bit more harsh or direct? When thinking about the home environment project area is to determine what you want your room to be designed around. For example, it could be a new rug or a piece of furniture that you redid or repainted or a painting that you hang on a wall. Keeping track of expenses should be a critical part of any 4-H project, but especially for the home environment, since you might be purchasing materials such as paint, brushes, stain, or even big articles such as furniture or wood for a repair. So a couple different options for that is keeping hold of a notebook or digital options such as putting it down in your calendar or online spreadsheet. Thanks for joining in and listening to our helpful tips and tricks on the Home Environment Project. Until next time, keep making the best better.